Mm. Wet those lipsticks. Thank you. Relax, 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 relax. Mm. Mr. Governor. Mr. Mr. Mm, Nyumbo. I remember you. Yes, remember. you see. Yes. You. And uh, you remember Beth? Yeah. So, sorry for interrupting your party, but we'd like you to accompany us to our offices. What? Accompany? Now? Huh? And, uh, Mr. Governor. I know this is not your wife, right? Yes. To avoid drama, Mr. Governor, can you please accompany us? Listen, can't we just talk? Mm. Let's just sit down. Can Go you again. please? Let me talk. Come please. Please. Let's just talk. Can you just yeah, accompany me? Mr. Governor, you can, I can give, I can arrange whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I can arrange. Officers! Ah. All right. Okay. I know my rights. Hold on. Let me call my lawyer. There's no problem. I know I'll beat this case. You I can't, you can't defeat me. Baby, please. You're right. Yeah, I'm fine. Let me just talk with uh, one of these people, okay. of my friends here. Okay. Hey, James. James. How are you? Thank you. Hey, I'm Thank you. So, Mr. Governor, Your Excellency, <clears throat> look at this document. Yes, it's from my office, but things are done. This is just paper. They are papers, but I can see a whole lot of your family is here. These names belong to your family. Your wife, your daughter. Uh, they're What's just happened? names. Sometimes work needs to be done. You just have to put names. It's not... You, the work was... You're not even looking if the work was done. <laughs> uh, so now, tell me about this. Your signature is this. I agree this is my signature. I agree. Beth? This. Uh -huh. no. They're just it? names. It came from your office also. Yes, it's from my office. 800 million, my friend. It is just zeros. But thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank thank you. you. Uh, Beth, wait for this. All rise. Case EACC F1 slash INQ slash 100 of 2019. Republic versus Konguni Mzito. Konguni Mzito, you are hereby charged under the Anti Corruption and Economic Crimes Act Assessor with the following offenses. In the first count, you are charged with five others not before this court today with the offense of conspiracy to commit an offense of corruption contrary to section 47A3 as read with section 48.1 of Assessor. What this means is that you, Mr. Kunguni Mzito, on a number of occasions and more specifically on 31st May 2018, with some of your county officials who are not in this court today, held a meeting where you schemed how to steal funds from Kazamoyo County government amounting to Kenya shillings 1 billion, 300 million, 700,000. This was money meant to improve citizens' lives by providing water, building roads, dispensaries where the sick can get treatment, but you stole and used the money to enrich yourselves instead. Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. In the second count, you are charged with the offense of abuse of office contrary to section 46 as read with section 48.1 of Assessor. This means you've been misusing the power that your position as governor. For example, you appoint your friends to positions in the county government. This means other deserving residents of Kazamoyo County cannot get adequate opportunity to better their lives. You even misused the police to intimidate the residents and stop them from demanding their rights. Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. In the third count, you are charged with the offense of conflict of interest, contrary to section 42.3, as read with section 48.1 of Assessor. More specifically, on 25th of July, 2018, you, Kunguni Mzito, awarded Fanaka East Kenya Contractors, a company whose uh, director, Kamboi Mwangwi, 
and Miriam Mwangwi are your son and wife respectively. Your relatives have carried out business with the very county government you are a leader of. You award yourself fat tenders and to your relatives. Guilty or not guilty? Silence in court. How do you plead? Not guilty. In count four, you are charged with acquisition of public property contrary to section 451A as read with section 481 of assessor. Kunguni Mzito, sometime in July 2018, you conspired with lands officer of Kazamoyo lands office to grab a piece of land belonging to Tumaini Special School, valued at Kenya shillings 40 million, and commenced to erect a stone structure on it. This means the blind children who belong to Tumaini Special School don't have adequate space to play and learn in because of you. Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Yes, counsel? Your Honor, I am Ratili Pima. I will be prosecuting this case on behalf of the Republic. I will endeavor to show this court, Your Honor, through presentation of witnesses and evidence that the accused is guilty of the offenses that he's being charged yes, with. Yes. Very well. Your Honor, I am Dr. Hannibal Majanga, and I'll be appearing for the accused. Your Honor, I pray this court to grant my client bail. Uh, he has been accused, and uh, the, 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 the accusations that he has been accused with are just that, allegations. He has not been proven guilty. And since he was arrested, he has never refreshed himself by either, way, by either taking a bath or even having proper food, Your Honor. Do you have any objection to that, uh, Prosecutor? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, owing to the serious nature of this case that the accused is being charged with, I apply that this honorable court declined bail. Mm, if yes. allowed to roam around uh, freely, he might interfere with the witnesses, who are his juniors yes. in the office. He might even run away. That yes. cannot happen, Your Honor. You are out of order, defense counsel. You have to show some civility. Yes, Your Honor, and I apologize. Your Honor, bail is a constitutional right, which even my client deserves. And, uh, I don't see why he should run away or because everything that he owns is in this country. He has his family here, his businesses, and his people that he loves to serve, Your Honor. I shall deliver ruling on bail application this afternoon at 2 p.m. Court adjourned. The accused is granted cash bail of Kenya shillings 50 million. He is, however, barred from accessing the county offices and consulting with any county staff until this case is heard and determined. Should he require to do any of the above, he must first seek and receive permission in writing from the chief executive officer of EACC. Further still, the accused must deposit his travel documents with this court as surety for his availability during the course of the case facing him. Mention of the case is on 6th August 2019 at 2 p.m. and hearing will commence on 9th September 2019 at 9 a.m. Asante. Nice place you have here. Asante, would you like to go So, Nyambia Niske, you sounded so mysterious on the phone. Hmm. Have his work at the county. Can't complain. Hmm. What do you ask? Nothing, nothing. You are about to retire though, right? Yeah. About two and a half years. 
It must be very frustrating working for the county. Sometimes having to go for three or even more months without pay. As I said, I'm not complaining. Suchuku early retirement. I have been dreaming of starting a business venture. We could be partners. Hmm. Business? You, <laughs> little sis. <laughs> you can't make it in business. You love life too much. And that's why I need you as my partner. What kind of business are you thinking of anyway? I was thinking we could build a mall. A medium-sized one. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know uh, that to build even a small supermarket requires mm. over 20 million? And, ah, uh, uh, forget it, little sis. Beautiful dream, <laughs> though. Mm, you don't understand. We could have the money if you want. Yeah? From where? From the governor. He is willing to give you 20 million if you don't testify against him. Unasama? Thank you for the dinner, little sis. I see you are still the little sly manipulative girl. Good night. Wait, wait. Come on, just wait. Remember these? They will still catch you for theft of public funds. All the evidence has been carefully placed. I wish them luck. Abel! Abel, wait! Abel, please! Please, Abel! Shall we proceed? Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, I shall call six witnesses to this case. My first witness is Nyundo Haki. Nyundo Haki! Christian? Yes. In your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, Nyundo Haki. I, Nyundo Haki. Do swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth concerning this case. Do swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth concerning this case. So help me God. So help me God. Please, tell us who you are and what you do. My name is Nyundo Haki. I'm the lead investigator at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Mr. Nyundo. Tell us what happened on June 5th, 2019, regarding this case. Well, I was on duty that day at the ACC headquarters. It was at about 10 in the morning when a gentleman came in to report an incident of corruption. A gentleman from where? He was the auditor in Kazamoyo County Government. So you're telling us that he was a whistleblower on the corrupt people at the county? Yes, Your Honor. He was acting as a whistleblower. So what did you do? After taking down his testimony and material evidence he had, I went to Kazamoyo County Government to do the investigations based on the allegations. Hmm. Come. Come. Uh, my name is Nyundo Haki an officer from the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Okay. My colleague is Beth Bella. Hmm. Uh, Your Excellency, our office received a report of corrupt incidents <laughs> that's happening in your office. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. And we are here to carry out investigations concerning the same. You are backing up the wrong tree. Here at Kazamoya, we are clean as a whistle. Yeah. Governor, yeah. we shall see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We shall see. Mm -hmm. We'd like to peruse various documents. Um, yeah, no problem, no problem. And we'd also like to interview some of your staff. <laughs> you, you know, I, I'm sure, you said your name is Mr. Nyundo. Nyundo, Nyundo, yes. <laughs> madam. I'm sure we'll get, uh, get along. You know, us here at Kazamoya, we are known for our hospitality. Let's consider this trip of yours, all expenses paid, eh? You know, we shall also... Governor, that will be necessary. Mm. We are implicated for by employer. That would be necessary. Uh, Officer Beth and I were able to do the investigation as planned. Most of our findings confirmed what Abel Mzalendo had reported. There was massive corruption going on. Yes, go on. Procurement records we perused revealed that the accused had registered a construction company using the disguised name of his relatives. A company by the name 
Fanaka East Kenya Contractors has its directors as Kamboi Mwingwi and Mariam Mwingwi. Further investigations show that Kamboi Mwingwi and Mariam Mwingwi are the accused son and wife respectively. This company was registered in February 2018. Yes, Mr. Mendo. Go on. Bank records reveal that deposits amounting to Kenya shillings 800 million, 800 million, Your Honor, have been made between 2018 and 2019, and all credited by Kazamoyo County Government. Yes, is that all? Then, just before we left the governor's office. Thank you very much, Governor, for your cooperation. <laughs> <laughs> I, I trust your little mission with us has been successful. Oh, will will be successful. <laughs> you know, us at Kazamoyo are known for our hospitality. Please accept something, small gift. Yeah, you that, know. that won't be necessary, Governor. Uh, we are performing our duties as public officers and cannot accept this gift. <laughs> Anything else? Yes, Your Honor. We also investigated a case where the accused was reported to have grabbed land belonging to a special school for the blind. Who does that? And? And we found the reports to be true. The accused was issued with a title deed in July 24th, 2018. Whereas the school management showed us a title deed the school was issued in 1990. Are these the documents? Yes, Your Honor, they are. Would you like to submit these documents to this court as exhibits? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Is the accused before this court? Yes, Your Honor. That is Kumbuni Mzito, the governor in Kazamoyo County Government. That is on your own. Defense Council. Officer Nyundo. Your Honor. Can you tell us in what capacity did Mr. Mzarendo come to ACC to complain? Was it as a county government officer or as a, a resident of the Kazamoyo County? As a resident and public servant, Your Honor. And did you know that uh, the so-called whistleblower, Mr. Mzarendo, was pursuing a personal vendetta. That all what he was after is to settle personal scores with the accused. No, Your Honor. He said he was doing it because it was his responsibility as a citizen to do so. You also say that you linked the company by the name Panaka, Panaka East Kenya Contractors to him. To him. Does his name appear in any of the registrations detail? Not as the public know it. However, investigations reveal that Mwingui is the accused middle name he rarely uses. And also, by, you also claim that he tried to bribe, bribe you. Yes. Do you have any proof to this? Yes. My colleague, Officer Beth, witnessed the attempt. Now, I put it to you that may, you are being used by Mr. Mzarendo to settle personal scores with their kids. And up, even up to now, you are still in his employment. No, Your Honor. No. That will be all, Your Honor. No further questions. Mr. Nindo, do you have any personal arrangements whatsoever with Abel Mzarendo? No, Your Honor. Our interaction is purely professional. Your Honor, I'm here with the witness now. You may step down, Mr. Nyundo. Thank you, Your Honor. Could you tell the court what is your name and uh, what do you do for a living? My name is uh, Abel Mzalendo. I was an auditor with the Kazamoyo County government until two weeks ago. What happened to your job at the county? I was dismissed in absentia. 
your honor. And what exactly is your work at Kazamoyo County Government? My job was to assist in the administration of finances in the county government by checking how the money is used. And how has your work been? Can you say you have done your job successfully? Work went on smoothly until sometime in July 2018 when I noticed certain discrepancies. What type of discrepancies? Your Honor, documents brought to me for auditing showed that uh, certain items had been purchased, certain uh, services had been rendered to the county government, but uh, so much money was paid for it. And what was wrong with that? The fact of the matter was that no such services had been rendered and no such items had been bought. But the money had already... Objections, Your Honor. Your Honor, is it in order for Kazo to be suggesting uh, answers to the witness? Sustained. Put your questions in the right manner, counsel. All right, Your Honor. Mr. Mzerendo, could you please tell us what did you find irregular? Your Honor, money to pay for those ghost services had already been released to the suppliers. Could you please give an example so that at least the courtroom can understand what you're saying? Yes, Your Honor. For example, documents show that construction materials had been purchased for over 200 million shillings. I decided to verify whether that was so, but I was not successful, Your Honor. How come? Whereas documents show that deliveries were done and uh, the supplier was paid. The truth of the matter, Your Honor, was that there was nothing on the ground. Please go on, Mr. Mzalendo. I could go on and on, Your Honor. But I have documented all this information. Did anyone ever stop you from investigating or try to, talk, to tell you not to continue with the investigation? Yes, Your Honor. A junior accountant approached me and uh, told me that uh, I, he had been told to tell me that whatever I was doing was unhealthy for everyone and that I should stop it. Did you stop it? No, Your Honor. You see, I was doing my job. So I continued to do it. There is nothing anybody could do about it until one afternoon. From there, I went to the EACC where I deposited the money, recorded a statement, and uh, gave them my report. Thank you, Mr. Mzalendo. Please take us through uh, the Kazamoyo dispensary. Accounting documents show that Kazamoyo dispensary was upgraded to a health center at a cost of 600 million shillings. I come from there, Your Honor. It is still a dispensary. To make it worse, there is no medicine. It is useless. Residents are traveling, some by foot, 10 kilometers, to seek for treatment. Are these the items you left at the ESCC? Yes. How much was the money? One million shillings. 
Would you like to submit it to the court as an exhibit? Yes. Defense? Ah, uh, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Mzarene, can you tell us a little truth about your sati from the county government of Kazamoy? Is it not true that you are caught seeing some funds? Objection, Your Honor. Defense is talking about a matter that is in court. It's subsidized, Your Honor. But, Your Honor, I was just trying to show that we are dealing with a common thief. Order, counsel for defense. You know the rules. Stick to them. Much of your honor. So, uh, Mr. Mzarendo, when you noticed those discrepancies, did you seek any clarification? Yes, I did. First, I went to the <coughs> junior um, accountants and checked with them. They told me they recorded the, the, the information the way they received it, procedurally. Next to Aona, I went to my boss, the chief officer herself. Then what happened? The chief officer gave me a very interesting solution to my problem, Your Honor. Come in. Good morning, madam. Good morning, Abel. Uh, what's the problem? Have a seat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I am in need of consultation, madam. Mm -hmm. This uh, procurement documents, they don't seem to add up. Okay. What's the problem? Now, look at the deliveries there and how much. And then look at, uh, you know, the money that was quoted. Do you see a problem? Try to be creative. After all these years of experience? Creative? Madam? <laughs> you know, this is money we are talking about, not creative composition. Do you know all this money will have to be paid and nothing was ever delivered? How many years do you have left for you to retire? Two and a half. Two and a half. Well, Mr. Mzalendo, take my advice. You need to employ your creativity while you're here. Mr. Mzalendo, what is your job description at Kazamoyo County Government? I audit finances for the county government. So, when did that change? into investigating. Mr. Mzarendo, let me take you back to a date in 2017. Do you recall you interviewed for a job? Yes. For what position? County Executive Member for Finance. Oh. So in other words, you wanted to be appointed as the Minister for Finance? Yes. And. Uh, did you get it? No. But why? Yeah, you are a graduate, aren't you? Yes, I am. And you also have the experience. Yet, you lost it to somebody who neither had the papers nor the experience. So, if I put it to you like this, you have never forgiven the governor for not getting that post. That's why you are driven by desire for event. No, no, you are not. No. You are always be a, a loser. And even up to now, you are very bitter. Your Honor, defense counsel is becoming personal. He's harassing the witness and not adducing any relevant evidence. I agree. Any further questions, counsel? Uh, no further questions. <clears throat> any re-examination, prosecution? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Muzalendo, why are you doing this? Why are you condemning the very government that has employed you your honor there is no honor in serving a government that destroys its own people i am chairman of a social support group called kazamoyo welfare self-help group and your honor the kind of issues that confront me that i have to deal with can break anybody's heart 
Uh, silence, silence in court. Very well. You may call your next witness. Tell us your name and what you do. My name is uh, Robare Jata. I'm the county lands officer. Do you recall what happened on May 31st, 2018? Talk, Mr. Jata. What happened on that day? I don't remember anything particular. I did a lot of things on that day. Did you meet with the accused on the dock? I don't remember meeting him. Try to remember, Mr. Jata. You say here in your statement that on 31st July 2018, Kunguni Mzito, governor of Kazamoyo County, asked me to issue a title deed to him based on a plot of land that belonged to Tumaini Special School. Here, you can read. You even signed the statement. I don't remember signing it. I was forced to. Your Honor, I ask that this witness be certified as a hostile. I wish to stand him down, Your Honor. You may call your next witness. Who you are? My name is Tabitha Daudi. I am the chairperson of Tumaini Special School. Please, look at this and tell the court what it is. This is the original title deed of Tumaini Special School. What has happened to Tumaini Special School that concerns this case? Your Honor, someone came and started building a wall, then a house in the school field. And how did that strike you as a citizen, Madam Daudi? I felt that is the worst thing a person could do. To grab what belongs to innocent children who are also blind. So many corrupt practices. I felt something has to be done. And what did you do as the chairperson of the school? I called for a school meeting of the school committee. We discussed, then reported the matter to the EACC. And then what happened? An officer of the EACC came. He told us he had investigated on the issue and the matter would go to court. He asked me to come and testify. Have you ever seen the accused? Yes, Your Honor. He has come on several occasions at the building site. Is he in this court? Yes, Your Honor. He's the governor of Kazamoyo, the one in the dock. That is all, Your Honor. Mr. Bida. Can you tell this court, how did you know that it is the accused who owns that building in your school field? We confronted the contractor. Mm -hmm. He showed us another fake title deed. His name was on it. Look at this title deed and tell the court which one is fake and which one is genuine. I do not know. But the one given earlier should be the genuine one. I put it to you that the reason why you went to ACC to complain was simply because the person who had sold that piece of land did not share with the money with you. No, Your Honor. There is nothing of that sort. I would have gone to the EACC even if I was not the chairperson of the school. Look at our dispensary. We have to walk for 10 kilometers with blind children because the dispensary at Kazamoyo has no drugs. Where is the water we were promised four years ago? Meanwhile, someone is trying to grab public property for themselves. What is to become of the powerless citizen? Right now, EACC is our only defender. I am doing this because I want this corruption to come to an end. That will be all, Your Honor. Do you know the accused? Yes, Your Honor. He's my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. How long have you been lovers? For about a year now. How do you meet? In his house or...? He has bought me a house. He comes visits me whenever he wants to. Other times we meet in hotels. Do you love him? No. Not anymore. Why can't you leave him? It isn't easy. You can see. Tell me, Sherry. Whose baby is that? It is his, Your Honor. It's the governor's. Case number EACC stroke F1 stroke INQ stroke 100 of 2019. Republic versus Kunguni Mzito. Having listened to the evidence and submissions from both sides, 
I find the defendant guilty as charged in count one, two, three, and four. Witness one, Nyundo Haki, and two, Ebol Mzalendo, provided material evidence to show that you actually stole money meant to improve the lives of residents of Kazamoyo County, about 1.3 billion. It's lost just like that. Imagine what 1.3 billion shillings can achieve for the needy. And as you and your officers swim in well, millions of needy people go without crucial services like medicine. How evil can that be? Investigations by EACC and presented by Chief Investigator Nyundo Haki and supported by fifth witness Tabitha Daudi clearly show the defendant tried to grab land meant for the needy. What kind of leader will rob the blind? And children at that. Witness six, Catherine Sherry, confirmed the accused's corrupt lifestyle. Not just materially, but also morally. It is too shameful even to think about it. What manner of moral depravity drives a man to bend this law? Obviously, the defendant has lost reason as a human being. He is a disgrace to public service and to Chapter 6 of our Constitution, Clause 75, which states in part, Clause 75, Subsection 1A, State officer shall behave, whether in public and official life, in private life, or in association with other persons, in a manner that avoids A, any conflict between personal interests and public or official duties, B, compromising any public or official interest in favor of personal interest, or C, demeaning the office the officer holds. These corrupt tendencies were confirmed by witnesses Nyundo Haki and Abel Mzalendo, whom the accused tried to bribe to stop them from revealing the defendant's corrupt practices. Evidence brought before this court by witness one, Nyundo Haki, shows that the defendant awarded tenders to himself through his relatives. It is clear that the defendant used this method to divert massive amounts of money to enrich his relatives. So what happens to other families if al Ida only thinks about his own? A person of the defendant's kind has no business holding public office. The defendant is unfit for that role. There is only one place for him, jail. This court finds you, Kunguni Mzito, guilty on all counts and sentences you to 10 years in jail without the option of a fine. Further to that, to ensure you, defendant, shall not enjoy the proceeds of corruption. This court orders freezing of all accounts which have been verified to have received money stolen from the public. That all assets that you or your relatives have accumulated by using proceeds of corruption be seized and returned to the people through the county government of Kazamoyo so that it can serve them the way it was intended to do. These orders take effect immediately. You, you, you there. I have been observing you through all these proceedings and your time is over. Arrest him for contempt of court. Thank you.